Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a super easy Korean style makeup look. So today we're going to start off with the base. First we're going to prime our skin because your girl has a lot of pores to fill in. And also because I have super oily skin so I need something to help control that. I almost forgot to mention that this is my first video of 2017 so super belated happy new year to you all out there. Don't forget to also prime the eyes. Before we apply the foundation, I'm first going to do some colour correcting. First I'm using a salmon toned concealer to brighten up the dark circles under these tired, tired eyes. Then I'm also going to colour correct some of the redness on my face by using a yellow concealer. You can also use green to colour correct redness, however I just have this yellow one so it's the one I'm using. For foundation, I'm using the Holika Holika Water Drop Tinted Foundation in the shade 04 Honey. I think this is a pretty perfect match for my skin tone. I'm really really enjoying this foundation at the moment because it has a really watery like consistency and it feels like nothing on the skin. Like really, it feels like you're not even wearing any makeup at all. Even though it is very liquidy, it has great coverage. It's also really buildable without getting cakey. Also, sorry for all the random dancing, it's because I was listening to K-pop while filming this video because, you know, I'm filming a Korean style makeup look so why not also listen to some K-pop? Don't forget to also apply the foundation on your neck because you don't want a weird foundation line on your jaw where the foundation ends and your bare skin begins. And yes, I know that my face is a completely different colour from the rest of my body. It's just how my face has always been, it's always been lighter than the skin on my body. Now I'm just going to brighten up my under eyes a bit more using a light concealer. To set the under eyes I'm using a yellow tone powder. This one I'm using is similar to the Ben Nye banana powder however it is pressed and has slight shimmer in it so it helps to make the under eyes even more brighter. Because I have very very yellow skin tone as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face using a loose powder that is lilac tone which helps to brighten dull yellow skin. Finally, let's get started on the eyes. With a shimmery beige pigment, I'm just going to take this on a clean finger and swipe that all over the lid.
Next, with a matte dark brown eyeshadow, I'm going to take this on my little finger and apply that onto the outer V of my eyelids. Then you want to take a blending brush to make sure that all the edges of the eyeshadows are seamlessly blended into the skin. With the same brown eyeshadow, I'm going to take it on a small angled brush and I'm going to apply a very small wing. With the top lids done, you can go ahead and curl your lashes and apply a coat of mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Then with a dark brown pencil liner, I'm going to go ahead and tight line the upper lash line. Going back in with the brown eyeshadow, I'm now drawing in a smaller wing on the lower lash line. Make sure that it doesn't join up with the upper wing. Now I'm just going to highlight the inner corner of my eyes using a shimmery ivory pigment. I'm also going to apply this onto the center of the top of my lid just to add a little more dimension. Next you want to pull a weird face so that the little fatty bits underneath your eyes puff up and then you can go ahead and highlight those bits and that is what you call an egg cell. I don't have a natural egg cell area which is why I have to fake it with shimmery eyeshadow. 
Oh, and I also applied the shimmery eyeshadow between the two wings just to define the wings a little bit more. To make me look a little more awake, I'm using a nude pencil liner on the lower waterline. I decided that I wanted the upper wing to be a bit more darker, so I went over it with a brown pencil liner. And onto the brows. I'm first going to draw on the shape of my brows using a brow pencil. As some of you may know, straight full brows are the thing in Korea, however you don't need to have them like fully straight if it doesn't suit your face shape, you can go ahead and add a little bit of an arch to them. Then using a brow powder, I'm going to fill in the sparser areas of my brows. Also don't forget to brush them out afterwards. To fade out the start of the brow so they don't look so blocky, I'm taking my beauty blender with the leftover concealer and just lightly patting that over the start of the brows. Then using a brow mascara to set everything in place. And finally for contour, I'm just going to shade the outer perimeters of my face to make my face appear more slimmer. I'm also going to contour down the sides of my nose because the tip of my nose is actually very round and I hate that so I like to contour just there to make my nose appear slimmer and taller. However, you want to do it very lightly, you don't want it to be like a drag nose contour. For blush, I'm using a super pretty matte peach shade. And I'm focusing the majority of the colour onto the apples of my cheeks and slightly sweeping it upwards and outwards. Can anyone tell what song I'm singing along to right here? Now it's not a Korean look without a little bit of glow so I'm going to highlight the top of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. I also highlighted my brow bone however my camera died so it doesn't actually show that bit. Once I had finished the highlighting I went over my whole face with a facial mist just to get rid of any powderiness. Like I mentioned, my camera died so it didn't show the part where I applied my lip colour and the one I'm using is the Etude House Dear Darling Oil Tint in the shade OR201 which is a bright, bright orange colour. However, it doesn't look that orange on camera. And so this is the completed look. The eyes are well defined without overpowering the rest of the face and the soft colours give it a nice feminine look. 
Please show me some love by liking, commenting and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out my other social media links down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!